softbox is in the same place. We've got the same distance with Tasha, <clears throat> but instead of having the wall opposite Tasha, we've got a sheet of velvet. I'm convinced that this was once upon a time black. I don't know if you're seeing red in the video camera, but it doesn't really matter. It's a very, very, very dark velvet. Velvet is like a black hole for light. It hoovers it up, it absorbs it. So any of the light that was escaping from the softbox, ricocheting off the white wall over there, is now being stopped by this black velvet, which will give a really, really, really strong shadowy area. I've got mine set up on some, you know, background stands, but you could use a couple of bits of string, you could, I don't know, any old thing, you can find some way of hanging up a piece of velvet. We could move Tasha and the light closer to the wall and just use some drawing pins or a little bit of tape. Don't tell the wife if you think you'll get in trouble for sticking things on the wall. Or the husband, that was really sexist, wasn't it? Yes. I'm being looked at, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoever is the other person in the house. Right, before I dig that hole any deeper. Um, I forgot to blimmin' well expose, I was getting so flustered, right. Much the same thing, just very, very carefully. We're exposing for the highlights, so I'm just gonna kind of put it about 45 degrees to the light and camera, eyes closed. There we go. F16 is our exposure, our aperture. So we pop that onto the camera, which is here. And F16. Now Tasha is very, very close. Look at this gap, it's really, really narrow, isn't it? And you're probably thinking, well, how on earth are you not gonna not get that in the picture? By using the long lens for this, and I know I'm using my f2.8, it doesn't matter, I'm shooting at f16 in this case, but the long lens has that narrow field of view, so it'll just skim alongside here in the light and we won't be able to see either of them. Right, here we go. For this sort of shot, you need a kind of, a, we've got moody lighting, so it's no good having someone giggling and going ha 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 ha. It kind of probably won't work. Well done, Tash. Tash has gone into sulky mode straight away. I'm not surprised, because she probably wants to go home. Well done, <laughs> she's giggling, I made her laugh. Oh, I'll make her take a picture of her. What happened? The flash didn't go off, the studio light didn't go off. That's okay. We've got the moody look there, nice one that. Very moody lighting indeed. So we've got those lovely, dark, strong shadows. The white wall has gone gray in the background. If you really, really, really wanted to sort of make it even more moody, you could put Another piece of black velvet or black card on the wall behind Tasha. That narrow field of view from the long lens will manage it beautifully. <clears throat> but look at this. Let's pop the camera on the floor. By moving the light a little, we can get even more out of this. Look, I'm just going to go about a foot there. So the light is almost completely sideways. I haven't changed this distance, so the exposure should be exactly the same. But let me take a shot and we'll compare the two. Well done, Tash. Yeah, the light is wrapping around Tash's face differently. I think we should show you in the video camera. Janie, get Tash's face. Tash, hold your pose. Now, as you... Right, are you ready, Jenny? Mm -hmm. Okay. As I move this light, I've only moved it a foot. Look at the difference between there and there. I don't know if you saw that happening, but you should have done. I think it looked really good. Could you see it? Yeah. Good. Right. Take the picture. It should be exactly the same exposure because we haven't changed the distance between Tasha and the light. Take that down, here we go. Very moody indeed. That's getting really kind of dark. That's really cool. Let's go a little bit further. Let's see what happens. Let's take this light just very, very slightly behind. So I'm moving the light just back here, so the light's actually coming from behind that. And as I turn it, can you see on that's face, as I just turn the light, you see how it's changing on her face? These are little subtleties that you can play with. There we go, so I've got the light, it's coming here, it's wrapping around, there's gonna be a very bright highlight on her cheek. Let's take the shot, I'm sticking with F16. Don't turn your face quite so much to the velvet. A Little bit more, a little bit more. That's it. Might be, I might have too much light hitting on your nose. Oh, I think that's good. Okay. And focus on Tasha's eye. Ah, sorry. This flashlight didn't fire. One more. Yeah. It's a kind of moody look. Go that way a tiny bit with your head. That's it. That's quite nice. I like you looking over that way too, Nat. 
because it's making your eye sparkle. And yeah, go that way a tiny bit more. So as Tash is turning her head to her right, we're getting a little bit more light come across her face. To begin with, she was too far to her left. Go to your right a tad more, Nat. That's it. And look at that. That's a real moody kind of a look, isn't it? And we're doing it by putting the light behind Natasha. Don't be afraid. Experiment with these things. That it's little tiny subtle steps. There's something we can introduce into this. So we've been creating shadows. Now let's keep playing with the shadows. But I want to introduce a little bit of light back in. And I'm going to do it with, if I can find it. He said taking a gamble because this is a bit unrehearsed. A reflector. Reflectors and flashes work brilliantly. What I just thought of was what would happen if we've got this light coming from behind, but we could push a little bit of light back in from this side. Janie, have a look on Tasha's face. We should be able to see it with a modelling light. If I just, oh, hang on, let me swap sides. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to work, is it? Right, look. Can you see on Tasha's face as I bring in that bit of reflector, we're just kind of lifting that that kind of darkness on this side of her face. It's really cool. Right, now, I don't know if you can hold that, can you? Because you're really good at this. There we go, just hold that there. But we're gonna do it with my camera, all right? If you can turn it down a bit. Hang on, there we go, so I can see over the top. Mm -hmm. That's cool, like that, just look at me. There we go, hold that there. Where's my camera, where's my camera? It's on the floor. Right. Excellent, and that's interesting, straight away. So, chin down a little, Tash. I know you don't like chin down shots much, but for this sort of light, it does kind of work rather well. If you look at the difference between the no reflector and the reflector, I like the black shadow, but I also like the moodiness of the reflector back. That's really cool, Tash, stay there. That's really cool. And also, the way Tash is holding that reflector, it's putting a set to her shoulders. Now, I know Nat's really good at this, in fact, when we put some pictures on Facebook the other week from one of our videos, you had a load of comments saying, didn't know you were modeling, didn't you? <laughs> That's really cool. Nice, moody light, all done in a little dining room with one light and a bit of velvet. It's all very low tech. So there we go. You can use reflectors for this sort of thing. We could also use the reflector. If I just move this out of the way just a bit, I don't want to get light reflecting off the white wall too much. So I'm keeping the velvet there, but let's just look at the reflector a bit more. I'm gonna bring the light back here. So we've got that sort of side front light again. There we go. Right, Tash. Now let's just turn the light and see where it's going. That's where it's going. If you could do, it needs to be kind of scooping that way a bit. That's it. So the light's coming from here. It's bouncing on there and it's ricocheting back. Got it? Hang on, you can keep, twist it up that way a bit. Got it, nice one, that. Okie doke. And, straight at me, might have to lower the reflector a bit. That's a really good look. That's a really cool look, Nat. But I didn't trigger the flash, sorry. Here it comes. That's a really interesting look good thousand yard stare. Bring your eyes straight into my camera. There we go, look at that. Couple of really great shots and I've only been doing those fairly quickly. Thanks Tasha, that was brilliant. All done with one light and a bit of velvet in a very small room. Go and experiment with these things. We can get into much more complex things later on but I just wanted to show you how easy it is to create some moody looking light. Thanks mate. Isn't he nice?